How's it going today? What we got going on here is we're going to program a robot to do touch-ups, all right? Um, we're going to use a Fanuc 100i, and the reason that you'd have to do uh, touch-ups are usually missed welds, but it could also be dodging clamps, things like that. So what happens is you program your robot, you put all your points in, usually they discover the missed welds after they start welding and the weld is not quite where they want it so they want to do minor touch-ups to make sure the weld is in the correct spot another thing that can happen is um, when you're doing continuous points they round off and you could be um, stepping through your program and checking it and it's going to hit a clamp or something so you got to touch those points up so it misses the clamp but usually it's missed welds for what we're doing here so what do i mean by this and the reason that i thought about doing this video is because we just got some new robots in and we had a mechanical guy that was um, playing with it and I showed him how to kind of jog it around and he, his points were off a little bit and he was going to the edit button trying to you know, edit the program somehow. And he's kind of a G-code guy so he doesn't, he's not real familiar with the actual teach pendant jogging things around and things like that. So I told him that I would uh, do a video on you know, how to do the touch-ups and I showed him how to do it first obviously. But, um, so here we are doing the touch-up video. So, Let's say, you can see I got solid correct path over here. The, the solid line is the path you want it to take for a weld, let's just say. I don't know why you do a weld like that, but um, that's what we're going to go with anyways. The dashed is the incorrect path. So you program it and you want it to follow that solid line. You step through the program and it goes where the dashed line is, okay? So you can see it's not following the, the solid line. So in order to fix this, you're going to have to do some touch-ups. So let's go back down here. If I can get the board to work. All right. All right. So I kind of put the steps over here. That's a 3D printer in the background. If you hear something making noise, by the way. Um, so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to jog to the point, the messed up point. All right. Then you're going to jog to the adjusted point. So if we go back to this right here, so you're going to hit step it forward to the first point. So this is a messed up point, right? So you're going to go to here, then you're going to jog it to here, all right? Then you're going to hit shift touch up, all right? So you're going to hold the shift key, and all the way on the right is a touch up button, and you hit shift touch up, and then it puts a little at symbol on the program that tells you that it adjusted that point. Then, you're, once you've done all your points and you've fixed them, you're going to want to step through the program again to make sure you're not going to crash the robot again. So it's a pretty simple thing to do, but if you don't know how to do it, you don't know how to do it. So uh, what we'll do now is we'll go out to the uh, lab, we'll fire up a robot, and I'll program something kind of like what I just drew on this, the back side of this with messed up points, and then we'll fix them and do our touch-ups. So here we are at the robot, and what we're going to do here is program this thing to weld on that zigzag line. So it's gonna start right here, and we purposely messed up the path. So it's gonna go way over here, and then it's gonna go way over here, and then it's gonna end right here perfectly. And we're gonna to touch up these two points to make, make it follow this line exactly. So what I'll do now is I'll run the robot, and you can see that it's, and you'll see the path that's kind of messed up. It's off the actual zigzag line that we did on purpose. All right, there we are at the first point, and we're going to run this to the uh, next point, and you'll see that it's not following the line. See how we did that on purpose? It's off a little bit. We'll go to the next point, which is also going to be off a little bit. Then we'll go to the last point, which is going to be right on the money. Then we'll get the robot out of here. All right, so now what we're going to do is jog the robot to the messed up points and then we'll do a shift touch up on them to make them correct so this is the uh messed up point it's not where we want it so i'm going to manually jog this thing over to where i want it nice and slow okay so that is where we want the point so i'm going to take the camera and put it on the teach pen so you can see how i'm going to fix this all right, now you can see the cursor's on point four. That's the point that was messed up. 
So we just manually jogged it over to make it correct. You can see right here, it says touch up. So you hit shift, touch up, and that just corrected the point. So now we're gonna go to the second messed up point and touch that one up as well. So we'll go back to the robot here. So we're on the point that we just fixed. We're gonna go ahead and go forward to the next point. And you can see it's way off that line. So we're gonna jog it in to fix it. And of course an air compressor comes on, I'm trying to talk. Layer plus, we extend that out a little bit. Uh, all right, so that's about right. And what we'll do now is I'll go back to the teach pendant and I'll show you how to put the shift touch up for the second messed up point. So now we're back to the teach pendant here. I'm in position for point number five. This is the one we just fixed. And again, you hit shift, touch up. And that should do it. So now we'll run through the program again and make sure it's actually following the line. All right, I'm gonna bring the robot in and we're gonna step through this to make sure it's actually following the line. And you can see it's going right down that line now. Right to the end. So you have made perfect adjustments. One more time, we'll bring it back. Right down the line for as perfect of a weld as you're gonna get. All right, and then we'll get it out of here. And you've made your adjustments. All right, so hopefully that gives you a good idea on how to touch up weld points on a welding robot. Thanks for watching and subscribing to TV Weld, and we'll see you next time.